hello friends ben here with another video thank you very much for tuning in and uh, trying to do something different in this video all i want to talk to you about today is my entry to the patina thunderdome 2 contest if you never heard about this contest it's fine i can explain you a little bit what it consists on and in this contest actually it is hosted by our friends from the stitch down podcast and what they do is they have all the participants start from zero with a brand new pair of footwear this footwear in most cases are boots but you can also enter wearing your formal shoes uh, your castle shoes tennis shoes and this year i heard even sandals are okay so it lasts six months and on those six months all the participants are documenting the uh, process of edging on their footwear uh, the process of the patina and wear and tear and uh, upload it to their uh, website with photos so at the very end a uh, panel of judges sit down and look through all the photos and uh, they pick the 10 best looking or most interesting uh, looking uh, footwear and uh, based on that they award prices to to the uh, finalists so i decided to participate this year last year they did it for the first time but i didn't enter i still had a lot of fun looking at the pictures and looking at all the uh, footwear that enter and uh, seeing the processes so uh, i had so much fun i decided to enter this year myself and to enter i decided to go with a pair of grandstone boots these ones are the brass boots and uh um what can i say about these boots um, this one is the uh motto style of boot this is style of uh, the design of the boot um, but a uh, difference on the regular motto boots that we are used to this one has this uh, rubber sole uh, log sole uh, not the regular uh, wet sole that we are used to see in this uh, style of boot uh, this one also featured uh, 360 uh, Goodyear weld this is actually storm well which uh, give it a nice look to the boots and also features nice uh, brass hardware on the five eyelets and two speed hooks i decided to accessorize the boot before starting i put this uh, uh, leather laces in a kelty uh, one of my concern is that uh, during during this contest we're going to be having a, a, a winter here in michigan and um, i'll be forced to wear this uh, during the winter time so i thought a Celtis may be handled uh, one of the reasons why i decided to go with the grandstone is because they are a local uh, brand for me i'm right here in michigan and i'm just two hours away from where they have their water house i never owned anything by grandstone before so this is my very first uh, pair of boots from from their brand I heard many good things about them and and uh, and YouTube and other reviewers actually that's how I found out about this uh, brand I am aware even though they are a, a Michigan um, a Michigan company an American company they have all their goods made in China with uh, often uh, American materials uh, these boots here they feature leather from the Horwin tannery which is located in chicago this is uh, made with uh, essex uh, leather and i decided to go with a tan color with a light color like this because uh, in my mind uh, with time and age and wear they're just gonna get darker and darker and they will develop a nice uh, looking patina uh, the dye in in the boots will change and it will start showing uh, irregularities in the color, which is actually uh, one of the points of this contest. Uh, quality is really good. I have nothing bad to say about the boots. So far, they're good. I went with the size nine. 
Uh, normally I wear size nine and a half, but it's suggested in their website that you uh, hold back half of your normal size because the um, because the four that these boots were made of are a little bit big. Uh, the the last they use is they call it the the floy last. For what I heard, is the uh, a big big value in the last. So usually the boots tend to run a little bit bigger. And I actually already tried these on. I have. I have plenty of room in my toe box here, but uh, my foot, I have a wide foot and they fill up uh, the white of the boot nicely. So uh, I'll, we'll see how they uh, develop on time. Um, this boot here uh, are a little bit more expensive than what I normally pay for my boots, but um, I was lucky to uh, buy them on sale. So they had a sale on it and I decided to pull the trigger and enter to this contest so uh, hopefully hopefully we do well and the boots just become the beautiful with the wear uh, like I said I decided to accessorize the boot uh, considering that we're gonna have a winter time here uh, but I still on the side if I want to keep it that way or not I don't know how that will affect the edging uh, with the uh, patina process so I may go back to the original shoelace and uh, change some things to, uh, here here and there I hope you stick around and uh, look for updates in these boots I'm planning to uh, uh, make at least to make a video a month and i uh, show you some of the edging and see how they are doing so please consider to subscribe to the channel and uh, let's talk about boots. I, this is not a, a subject that I usually talk about it, but uh, if, if, if with this contest and if I can in the process met more interesting people that are into this kind of things, I'm sure I will enjoy talking to them. So leave your comments in the, in the video and uh, let me know what are your thoughts and uh, how, how do you do with the uh, edging or wearing your footwear, your uh, patina, and your, your shoes, and um, let's develop a nice conversation here. So uh, I hope you consider to uh, stick around and uh, come back here for more videos in the future. Until I got to talk to you again, please stay well. Bye.